This movie is an adaptation of a novel of the same name. It tells a story about Sierra Six, a highly skilled former CIA operative who was once the agency's best merchant of death. After his escape from prison and recruitment by former handler Six is now on the run from the CIA with Agent Lloyd Hansen hot on his trail. Aided by Agent Danny Miranda, Hansen will stop at nothing to bring Six down. First of all, this movie wants to compete with James Bond and Ethan Hunt in terms of globe-trotting action, novel locations, and wild set pieces. The movie plays like a sheepish admittance of how much it's been cobbled together from other sources. It gives a nod to Bond's 007 when the hero is talking about his code name. Even the brassy score always seems to be building up to the signature riffs from the James Bond theme and the Mission Impossible theme. It's a very expensive ambition that doesn't always pay off. The movie borrows from those secret agent thrillers but unfortunately doesn't match them in terms of quality. The plot is really hackneyed as the main character is on the run from the very people who train him. This kind of story was all done better by the Born Identity 20 years ago as this movie borrows a plenty from that film as well. The movie pretends that its plot is complicated while it's actually very simple. It keeps interrupting the story with flashbacks, cuts to the other characters, and captions explaining that we're in several different locations. The movie is also clumsy with character development, stopping the momentum of the story to provide flashback of Six and his past occupation as Claire's bodyguard to establish his goodness, also found in the reason he was behind bars in the first place. The title of the Grey Man in the novel actually refers to a quality for a spy as you should have the ability to move through the world without being noticed. It's fair to say that the novel's idea of Six being a mysterious figure who can slip into the shadows unnoticed by anyone has been abandoned. In this movie, the hero wears attention-grabbing clothes and attracts over-the-top mayhem that shuts entire cities down. The movie is making characters superhuman, despite the premise that initially this is a slightly grittier sense of the story. The film loses interest in any sort of chess game involving trained assassins, turning the viewing experience into a test of patience as it's trying to go hyper stylish and numbingly aggressive. The movie gradually transforms itself into a comedy, as there's always time to joke in this movie. Unfortunately, the humor falls flat and the jokes silly at best. In terms of action, the movie is also disappointing. Some of the fight scenes are shot in such a way that it's hard to tell what's going on. A sequence in which Six gets stuck on a cargo plane that is falling apart as he fends off killers cannot approach the bonkers thrill. There's a long gunfight with an endless supply of assassins somehow failing to kill our guy feels like a John Wick cast-off. And eventually, the inevitable showdown isn't much pay off for such tedium. Overall, this movie is a disappointment. It's not really worth your time to watch this in theater. But if you enjoy seeing planes, cars, and buildings being blown up in a fake-looking way, then just wait on your streaming service.